I want to now repeat the story we started with tonight. Our friend and colleague Jerry Jensen died of pancreatic cancer just after 1 o'clock today, surrounded by family and friends in his San Francisco home. His passing was peaceful. Memorial services are going to be private, but if you'd like to do something in Jerry's name, a scholarship fund has been set up at Stanford University. It's the Jerry Jensen Scholarship Fund the, at 24 California Street, Suite 700, San Francisco, California, 94111. If we are the sum total of the people we meet and the friends we make, Jerry was complete. And the life he lived was full, both of promise and performance. Jerry Jensen was born in the Panama Canal Zone. His father was a naval officer. He went to school in Hawaii and got his first radio job there when he was 15 years old. He also went to school and worked in Colorado and Alaska. The Jensen family came to the Bay Area in 1955. And Jerry graduated from San Jose State and got his master's degree in broadcast communication from San Francisco State. He went to work for KGO Radio as a staff announcer in 1958, then left to spend a year traveling in Europe. And when he came back in 1959, he went to work for Channel 4 and anchored the news there for eight years. In 1967, he anchored the news at Channel 44. And in 1969, he joined Channel 7 as a reporter anchor. He won a lot of awards, including his favorite, the San Francisco State Broadcast Perceptor Award in 1971. But he always said he didn't have to win awards to be happy. Being in the business of communication and getting paid for it was his reward. Jerry was both a digging competitor and a gracious co-worker. And an early promotional film Channel 7 put together for Jerry summed him up for his television friends very well. I feel like we've grown up together. It's nice to know Jerry Jensen. I remember the night a killer called Jerry and after many hours, Jerry talked him into giving himself up. And the time he helped a young runaway get home. And the night he made a killing on the London gold market using his home computer in the wee small hours of the morning. How he always liked to mangle Jim Salania's sports leads. How Peter Giddings always talked him into buying those new intricate watches. His boat on the bay and the sailing and scuba diving he loved so much. He was young in years. He had a zest for living them all. If he could be remembered for any one thing, it would be that he was a pro. He could do it all well. He could do everything required of a professional journalist. Research, investigate, write, report. But most of all, he was an intellectual stimulus. And the one thing we all hold in high regard, a storyteller. He had a biting wit that could be both sensitive and sardonic. And he always set us up for his closing story. He really liked to write and tell them most of all. And for 14 years, we'd all sit back and listen to what he'd come up with this time. But Wheaties, of course, is the Rexus of Champions. Everybody knows that. We've all grown up seeing the patriotic cereal box with pictures of real heroes urging a nation of youngsters to, to follow their examples. Well, if the people of Prairie du Sac, Wisconsin, have their way, the new Wheaties box will include a picture of their favorite heroine. Here she is, 38-year-old Kay Hankins. She's the champion cow chip chucker in that part of the Great Plains. A six-time champion of the Wisconsin Cow Pie Tossing Contest, four times Grand National winner. Ms. Hankins talked with reporters after carefully washing her hands in the whole matter. She said that she wouldn't mind carrying the Wheaties banner for the sport she loves. She may be a lot of the box. ingredients. Listen, it's the sport of choice back there. <laughs> That's true. We are very sorry that Jerry Jensen isn't with us anymore. Like all the stories he reported, his life had a beginning, a middle, and now an end. But because he was here, and because of what he did, we will always very respectfully remember the man we call...